The goals for today and this presentation are to one, understand the new pain classification guidelines. And Dr. Stanos just went through those with everyone. We also want to learn more about pain neuroscience education. What is it? You know, what is this about? What does this mean? How do we apply it? Maybe this is a new term for everybody. Uh, we also want to understand, uh, you know, how is P how does PE help patients reframe their pain experience to reduce fear, catastrophizing, and discomfort while improving overall function? Really important things that, um, you know, I think that we all would agree on. Uh, we want to understand how patient knowledge can be a catalyst for treatment. So this sounds kind of cliche, but it's true that really knowledge is power. Knowledge is very powerful when it comes to patient understanding uh, for their overall treatment process. Lastly, we want to learn the delivery of three basic pain science stories and metaphors that will support positive therapeutic outcomes. Uh, so why are we teaching p and &E, or again, pain neuroscience education? Well, let me just start out by saying this. I'm going to kind of give a brief overview of the research uh, that describes p and &E and, and give some of the efficacy behind it. And then later on, I'll describe some, some of these stories and metaphors that, that we give to patients, really the clinical delivery of these stories. So uh, the research has shown a lot of benefits to teaching patients about how pain works in their body. What we really know is that patients, they want to know about pain. They want to know about uh, how pain works in their body. Um, it, it really does help with the treatment process. So, and we know that through research. We know that knowledge changes their thoughts, their beliefs, their attitudes, and their behaviors around pain. Uh, so, you know, we know if patients are thinking differently, if they have different cognitions, different thoughts, that changes uh, behaviors, it changes lifestyle patterns, changes so much. So we do this through translating complex uh, neurophysiology into easy to understand stories and metaphors. So all this, all this pain neuroscience research that, that we all read, that we're all very familiar with, uh, we translate this into these easy relatable stories and metaphors that is relevant for really, and we know this through research, all age groups, whether you're, they study it from a junior high, a middle school to up through adults, and no matter what your educational level, people can understand these stories and they can relate to it. Uh, so the end result is that pain becomes reconceptualized, pain becomes reframed. Um, and again, when we're thinking differently, we're moving differently, we're feeling differently. So why are we teaching PE? Again, uh, here's a systematic review by Adrian Lowe and group, uh, 2016, really nice overview. And basically, here's the summary of this review. Pain neuroscience education has shown to reduce pain, improve function, lower disability, reduce fear, avoidance and catastrophizing, reduce perceived threat and harm release associated with pain, enhance movement, reduce healthcare utilization, and improve overall self-efficacy. So I think we could all agree there's a really important things that we all uh, want to see improve. We all deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, so, and this is 30 years in the making. Like in all this, this p and &E research, this goes back 25 to 30 years. And I'll talk more about that later, but, um, uh, we're really getting some good evidence here. So here's another study, just a, a randomized controlled trial. And it talks about how uh, p and &E is effective, but it's even more effective when we combine this with, with other physical therapy treatments. Um, and this, this study basically said, yes, p and &E plus cognition targeted motor control training um, had, had even better results when compared to just normal physical therapy. Uh, so again, p and &E, we call it p and &E plus, and you'll hear me talk about this later on in the lecture that p and &E plus what, p and &E plus other elements, other physical therapy elements really is the glue, the things that ties ties everything together to, that adds more efficacy um, and better outcomes to what we do. And it, it, again, it goes back to improving patient understanding. So here's our case study. Let's just say we have a 43 year old female. Uh, she has ongoing chronic lower back pain, hip pain, pelvic pain for several years. This is a typical pattern in our clinic. Uh, uh, we get we get a lot of different kinds of chronic pain uh, cases, but this is a typical pattern. And let's say that she has a history of multiple lower back injuries as an athlete. Her psych evaluation reveals past trauma. Uh, she had a prior hysterectomy, L5-S1 discectomy, and pain limits her functional activities, sleep, sex life, and work as a, a community service director. So she presents to a pain services here uh, to our four week functional restoration program. Now, what does that mean? Some of you may not know what that means. Our FR program is an intensive program. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To continue, please log in or create an account for free. Thank you for your support.